Right. So this one's going to be about changing the bearings in this um, Xiaomi 365 scooter. I'm going to change this rear wheel bearing because it sounds like horrible. So we have various different types here. This one here is 6002 2RS, that's the front wheel bearing. And 6001 2RS, that's the rear wheel bearing. And then various other sizes here just in case. So first things first, you need to get underneath this little reflector like that and there's a screw under there and then it should just there we go so there's a screw underneath that I'll put that aside then allen key so you have one of those on each side Once they are out, the wheel is free. And there we go. So that's the bearing. And you can see it's held in with a little circuit. So we're going to remove that with the pliers. Something like that. Leave that down there. And there's another one on the back side too. So try the same again. Same again. So once you have the hair clips off, a few tappy tap tap. Like that. So that's where the bearing sits. And you can see the other bearing still in there. And uh, that's the shaft with the bad bearing on it. We use a where's it gone? Flathead screwdriver through here. So, you can just put a screwdriver through there to just sit on the part. I oh, thought I'd have to bang it, but it just fell out. So that's the old bearing. Now, leave that one there. And just tap this one in. So a few tappy tap taps and that'll come off. So before we go any further, just make sure that the New bearing is the same size. That one goes over there, that's for the front. So we're looking at the 601. Size them up, internal diameter, outer diameter, and the width. And they're the same. So you can actually hear. The old, um, the old bearing has that noise in it. And the new one's nice. So this is going on like that. And the socket goes over there, and then all we're going to do is just tilt the seats down like that. So you want to hammer on the inner race, not on the outer one. Then we can drop that into there 
like that. And then using the 21mm, we can sit on the outer race and drive it into the wheel. Now we need to fit that one on the opposite side. So same again. 20 more mil socket just sitting over there. Now we want to reinstall the circuit clips that hold the bearings in, into the shaft. You want to make sure that they actually fit down into the groove as well. And that one isn't, so a few more persuasions. Required to get that bearing in, and now the ring should snap in. So we're just pressing it down till the seat's in the groove. Give it a little squeeze, and that's it. And on that side, you can kind of see the groove. Can you? Yep. Yeah, there we go. So it looks like that bearing wants to go back in a little more. Yep. So I'm just refitting this air clip onto there like that. Making sure it's in the groove. As it is. So the shaft is actually keyed, so you need to make sure that's actually horizontal when you're sliding it back into the frame, or it won't actually fit in these little grooves here. There we go. So let me get the Allen key. Let me just drive the rest of the uh, Allen keys in. So just loosely on this side until we have both in. So you want to make sure the wheel is pushed all the way up, hold it in place and then just nip up the allen key. Like that. You can see we have a little rubbing on the brake now, so that might mean that we're not aligned properly. You can hear the difference in the pairing, or rather you can't. Horrible. It's really quiet. So we do a final test just to make sure it's not rubbing. That all sounds nice. And then you want to reinstall these um, covers on the side by just peeling back the screw, peeling back the sticker. Squeeze it in. And then 
stick the sticker back down. And there you have it. Nice and quiet.